Hi guys, welcome to today's video on heart healthy habits. Do you know that heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide? But the good news is that there are many simple things you can do to reduce your risk and keep your heart healthy. So let's get started. First up is diet. Eating a heart healthy diet is one of the most important things you can do for your heart. Aim to eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean protein. Cut back on processed foods, sugary drink, desserts and saturated fats. A heart healthy diet is one that is low in saturated and trans fats, salt and added sugars and high in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein and healthy fats. Foods that are high in trans fat and saturated fat include fried foods, processed foods and packaged foods, red meat, full fat dairy products and topical oils such as coconut oil and palm oil. It's important to limit the intake of these foods that are high in saturated fat and trans fats because they can increase your cholesterol level and contribute to the development of heart disease. So aim to incorporate more fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein and healthy fats such as olive oil, fish, chicken, breast, avocado, nuts and seeds into your diet. The next is exercise. Exercise is an important part of heart health and pretty much we all know about that. Physical activity can help lower blood pressure, improve cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart disease. Aim to get at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise most days of the week. This could be anything from brisk walking to weightlifting to dancing or swimming. So include that as part of your daily routine. Depending on your age and physical health, you should aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or 75 minutes of high intensity exercise a week. You can break this down into 30 minute session on most days of the week. If you don't have time, uh, you can still do 10 minute session 3 times a day which are easier to do. Uh, so the 10 minute session 3 times a day will give you the same effect as a 30 minute session a day. So find activities that you like, for example walking, swimming, dancing, cycling, just make them regular part of your routine. Related to the above two points I just mentioned, maintaining a healthy weight is critical for heart health because being overweight or obese can increase the risk of heart disease and other chronic diseases. You can maintain a healthy weight by eating a balanced diet and engaging in regular physical activity. If you are struggling to lose weight, seeking guidance from a healthcare provider or a registered dietitian can be helpful. Sleep is often overlooked when it comes to heart health, but it's critical for overall health and well-being. Aim to get at least 7-8 to eight hours of quality sleep each night in a dark, quiet room. If you have trouble sleeping, try establishing a relaxing bedtime routine or talking to your doctor. Next is stress management. Chronic stress can take a toll on your heart health, so finding ways to manage stress is key. Consider practicing yoga, meditation, spending time in nature or deep breathing exercises to help calm your mind and reduce stress. Engaging in hobbies and activities you enjoy can also help reduce stress and improve overall well-being. By the way, if you are liking this video so far, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. For those who are new, my name is Parul and in this channel I share my knowledge and passions on homemaking, life hacks, mindset and healthy living. I also have another channel on personal finance. So you can check that out too if you're interested in money and finance. Anyway, coming back to today's video, the next best thing you can do for your heart is to limit alcohol consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can increase blood pressure and contribute to the development of heart disease. It's recommended to limit alcohol consumption to one drink per day for women and two drinks maximum per day for men. Next, if you're a smoker, you should quit smoking because smoking is a major risk factor for heart disease and other chronic diseases. If you smoke, it's important to quit as soon as possible because it damages your blood vessels, raises your blood pressure and increases your risk of blood clots. You can seek support from a doctor, support groups or nicotine replacement therapies to help you quit smoking. 
Finally, don't forget about social connections. Strong social connections have been linked to better health. So make time to meet with your friends and family. Laughing, sharing a meal or just chatting with loved ones can help you reduce stress and boost your mood. So by incorporating these tips into your lifestyle, you can support your heart health and reduce the risk of heart disease. It's important to remember that small changes can make a big difference in every step you take towards a healthier lifestyle is a step towards a healthier heart. Thank you for staying till the end. If you guys like today's video, you can also check out this video here. And this is all for today and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.